Whenever you practice more, you get more. What are your practices? To stay in attunement, to stay in alignment with, yeah. with that side um, of yourself, with the highest side of yourself. This? <laughs> Kicking and playing and screaming and dancing. Yeah. One of my biggest practices right now is play. Yeah. Is play, is risking, is getting dirty. You know, too many, too many people want to have it together. We gotta get messy. You know, because that's where all the all creation happens on the edge of our comfort zone. And when you're comfort, when you when you're comfortable, when you when you're in the know, you know we're controllers. Most of the world is they, they want to control. We're control freaks. We want to control everything, and we'll do anything to avoid facing off with ourselves. My practice is to look at my to look at my shit, is to face off with that. You know, like what's interesting, we have these cable companies out here. Um, and we, were, we moved into a new spot in Venice. You guys came there the other day. And um, we were trying to get our internet set up. And three times they said they were coming and they didn't come. And I just literally sat there all day. Between eight and five, we'll be there. <laughs> and eight and five, I'm sitting there and they didn't come. So I called and I didn't remember this. And I'll put this out in the space. I, I know this but I still didn't practice it at this moment. The context determines the content. So where you come from determines what you receive, right? And I called from the context of pissed the hell off, right? So I'm like, what am I gonna do? And I'm cursing and I'm like, yo, get me a manager, I'm not playing, you know? And I loved um, seeing where my work is. You know, because everything's a teacher. You're my guru right now. That cable company, my guru, for sure. The teacher. Ah, P, you still got that thing in you, you know? And you'll never get rid of it. It's just a matter of how you'll be with it. Anybody out there who's working on something, let's, let's call it sadness, anxiety, overwhelm, anger, whatever you're working on, whatever your dharma is, that thing that, that you're being with, you, it will never go away. You can transcend your, your relationship with it, that's a whole different ballgame. But what we came here to play with, some people, A, never complete. There's people in my family who will never complete. And there's a freedom in that for me of not trying to change them or want them to get it. You know, when I first woke up, and a lot of us have this issue, we wake up and we want our whole families to wake up too. <laughs> you know, I woke up and I was like, why are we eating fast food? You guys gotta stop. Why are you religious? All this stuff. And like, no one can hear you. You know? And that's maybe not their path. Not yet. Not on this, in this lifetime. The moment I let go, everything shifted. When I shifted, they shifted. Boop, boop, boop. What's up, y'all? If you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click the link below and watch the full interview. I had a blast filming with Rick and Josh. They are amazing. The full interview is off the chain. I love you. It's going down in a beautiful major way. I am, we are, hashtag loves voice.